And what about you? In this one, we're going to talk about current flow. Uh, old school ammeter here. A wee bit of practical and a wee bit of theory. Not too much in the theory. So it's an old school analog ammeter here, and uh, it's clipped onto the negative of the battery, as you can see. So we'll just put a wee bit of load on here. So that's ignition on, and uh, turn the lights on there, so you can see the direction of current flow there as per conventional current theory, conventional current flow. And if I put it onto the positive lead, the needle swings the other way. So that's it, uh, flinging to the, to the right of the gauge there. So what's he showing us this for? This is an old school analog gauge here. Uh, we've all got digital stuff nowadays. We've got uh, stuff we can put on the scopes, voltmeters, clip-on jobs. You know, far more, uh, far more user friendly than this old thing. Well, you can still buy these. Uh, that's the model number of that. This is uh, a thirty amp one. Uh, you can get another one that goes up to seventy five amps. But the advantage in this is it shows you the direction of current flow. Now, this ammeter here, this digital readout, I'll show it as well. It'll come up as a negative if it's on the wrong way or whatever. So we'll just talk about. Uh, current flow, conventional current, and why this is useful. So a lot of your, your these wee clamp meters have wee arrows on them. I'm sure you all use these and seen all this. So there's that plus there and a wee arrow on it there. And there's this one here. There's a plus sign and an arrow on it. And this one here is a wee bit of an anomaly because there's an arrow on it there and there's a plus sign, but I've marked C could go in the other opposite direction because I've found that this one is the other way around. Now, what you could do, of course, this is this has four mil jacks on it, so you just swap them around if if you want to. It's maybe just the way this is wired, but uh, just to keep everything um, uniform with all the, the different types, I've just marked it that as a reminder, just that this one happens to be uh, the other way. So it says plus there and uh, a minus there with the arrow going plus the minus uh, but uh, in actual fact it goes the other way if you want to keep it hold it in your hand that way you can just simply turn it around of course you may be wondering what this big thing here is for this is a, a clamp meter as well this is this is for going around uh, large objects and there's our arrow and what you do with that this is an extension piece and that is uh, 10 to 1 so there's 10 windings in this to one winding in that and there's the arrow there in that so that's a, that's a 10 to 1 probe basically and it's AC only that so uh, there we go and I use that in conjunction with uh, this boy here which is AC only and uh, up to 2000 amps so with so with that big extension on we just uh, move the decimal point. It, it reads the same, but uh, I have to know to move the decimal point. So you divide it by 10. So here's the bit of paper, right? Okay, uh, conventional current. That's that's the way all these ammeters are designed to read, conventional current. So what, what are we talking about when we say that? So here we have a battery. So the big mark would be the, the minus or the negative or the cathode and small one but it's always a wee bit thicker that'll be the positive so uh, we'll get a circuit we'll put a load in the middle and there we go so across this we'll have what's properly known as a potential difference so a pd so if you have a potential difference of zero there and 12 there we would say that that has a potential of 12 volts so with this open circuit no current flows so uh, if, if this is through then we get current flowing a conventional current then states that so by convention uh, it flows from the positive 
to the negative. So in other words, it flows that way. So all these meters, if you put them on the positive, it'll, it'll point towards the negative. So when I had the, the wee uh, analog meter on, uh, the needle was pointing towards the negative. But as we all know, this is wrong. Now it's not really wrong because uh, electric current is often thought, thought to be a flow of electrons. And that's fair enough in this application, but uh, it's really a flow of charge. So uh, charge can be positive or negative, and uh, it depends on, on what you have connected to it. So for example, uh, a metal wire or whatever, the, the electric current consists of a flow of electrons. So electrons are negatively charged. So in actual fact, the negatively charged electrons flow towards positive. So it actually goes that way in reality, in this application. However, um, you know, batteries, electrolytic capacitors, neon lamps, whatever, the, the current is really a flow of ions and they can be either positive or negatively charged. So uh, so you can flow, flow in, in either direction. So just in case uh, somebody pulls me up on that and says, oh, well, that's, that's actually not strictly true. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, uh, American, uh, forefather founder uh, sort of guy in the 1700s he labeled he just labeled it positive and negative and uh, by convention they, j they just took it that it flowed from uh, positive to negative uh, we know that in this application uh, as i said electron is negatively charged it actually goes the other way but all the clamp meters uh, apart from that one that i showed you uh, are all marked to flow conventional so that's conventional a lot of people would say it's conventional theory uh current so uh yeah again uh hydrogen fuel cells it's actually current as a flow of protons uh semiconductors there's current with uh there's holes so it's just to make it easy it's there's just holes in the semiconductor and the and they get filled by uh um, so it's an, an absence of electrons. So without without getting into that, uh, with the advent of quantum physics, we discovered that the, it can actually flow in either direction, depending on what it is, what the application is. This is a metal wire. In automotive, we're talking about a metal wire here, or copper wire. So uh, it's a flow of negatively charged electrons from actually uh, minus to the plus in that direction. But that's that's actual actual. Uh, and not and that way there is convention so hope that makes sense uh ricky was steak there that, that's actually the cathode's a, a smaller uh one on the drawings are and the, the other one's a larger one so yeah got that <laughs> got that wee bit wrong on the draw there but it doesn't make any difference to what i was saying so uh the other thing i didn't say there a proton a proton is uh positively charged and uh, electron negative so the negative is attracted to the positive and the other way around the proton right we'll get rid of that there that's enough of that and uh, here on the bench we have a a battery of cells so we'll have a big case and full of cells and that's a, that's a battery of cells so it's commonly known as a battery and we'll give it we'll give a couple of these things that we go here and uh, we'll demonstrate our current flow. So we've got our battery of cells hooked up to an H7 bulb and that we uh, cap there, you can see it lit up. So there's the positive and there's the negative with the red and the black. So we've got our Vantage Pro and we're gonna use it as a as an ammeter here. So we've got a wee bit of glare there. Ah, that's better. Okay, so we'll have it hooked up to this thing, zero it out and let's see it zeroing. And if we hook it on to the positive, so we're seeing a minus. So that's the one I said yet that is actually the other wrong way around. So I could swap the leads around. I could just swap the leads around or I just flip it over like that. You can see it, uh, four amps. So you don't need a fancy, fancy, a fancy, a fancy, a fancy Vantage Pro to do this. This is doing a calculation for us to sort of display as amps. So if I put our wee digital bio on here, and we'll just zero that out. There we go. I'm gonna stick that on. 
it's reading positive and if we put it in the other way around it's reading negative hopefully you can see the negative there just to the left of zero so similarly if we put it on the negative here there it's, it's gone negative on it for us on us and uh, we'll just do that with this one put it on there that'll be positive but it's a wee bit confusing because this one's the other way around so uh so put it on the negative that's uh that goes negative there now you don't need a fancy vantage pros i said you can do this with an ordinary voltmeter I'll just show you that so the clamp on the on the positive there it's uh just on voltage just ordinary voltage scale and it's connected into the ordinary volts and it's given us a reading in millivolts and you just have to convert that yourself it'll say on the ammeter that uh there we go i'm on 20 amps so 100 millivolts equals an amp so you just uh, do that calculation so all the vantage pro is doing is doing that calculation for us and displaying it in amps so we'll just try the same thing in this one here this is a 600 amp clamp use this for relative compression so this is a wee bit different this isn't a push button this is a this is a turny dial so uh so we've got to give it a bit of a spin here we can see that uh so this is just a calibrate this is just a zero it out and uh we're not going to be too fussy with uh exact measurements here but anyway uh so the arrow on it there uh conventional current positive to negative so if i put that around the, the positive lead here the the red one and put it around facing up the way it'll read a positive figure now it may you may see it's reading very small there and that's because this particular one is uh let me see if you'll focus one millivolt uh equals one amp so that's on uh low, low amps there so I'll need to change that, but uh, you get the idea. So back onto our wee analog jobby here. And this this then shows us the magnitude, but it also shows us the direction. Uh, I'm not really interested in magnitude that much. If you're not wanting to read the, the the amount of current, the magnitude of current, you know how how many amps it is. You know you're you're better off with something like that. It's uh, far handier, or the other meter. So, but this this the idea of this is it shows. The direction of current flow so uh, we'll get on to a practical application of, of why that could be useful uh, in an automotive application so we'll put this we'll put this on there and it's showing the five amps so that's that's going that's telling us the current is flowing that way similarly then if we change it on the negative it's now pointing that way so it's the same as what we saw on the car there. So here on the bench we'll have our battery and we also will have this wee, uh, this wee boy here, which is a wee breaker. And it's just, it's tripped at the minute there. So we'll just close that. That clicks into place. So that's a, that's a wee circuit breaker, a wee 10 amp breaker. So uh, what we're gonna do, we'll have on the bench a loom with our analog clamp there connected. And there's a fault in this loom. It's short to earth, hard down to ground. So we're gonna see if this thing here can assist us in finding that fault. So we're gonna see if we can use this direction of current flow thing to idea to uh, help us find where this, this fault is in this loom. So we'll give it uh, a wee quick go here and the breaker will trip pretty instantaneously. And we can see it pointed that direction, pointed that way. So the fault is away from us. Here the loom splits into, into branches. So there's multiple branches here. So we'll just take that off there and we'll clip around, clip around that one. And we'll see what happens with that. So we'll reset the breaker and we'll give it another go here. So move the wee tiny bit, but there's nothing really there. So we've moved on to this branch and uh, we'll give it an arco, give it an arco over here, here we go. Ah, so faults up that way. So we've moved on up that leg there and we'll give it an arc crack here. Still there, feels good deflection. 
So the loom branches again there, and uh, okay, we'll give it another go here. Just get you into focus again on my gauge. And uh, nothing really there. Not as much as it was before, anyway. And we'll move on to that branch. And we'll try and give it another go. Yeah, definitely down that leg. And here's the reveal. There's our fault. So that direction indicator, we're not really interested in the magnitude, but we are interested in it goes that way, whether it's going that way or that way. So uh, conventional current, it's, it's going from positive to negative. So that is pointing towards that negative. So that blue wire there, if I follow it around the bench, there's all them clump meters around. And that's what's on to the negative terminal there. So there we go. So can direction of current flow assist us in fault finding? Well, the answer is yes. This wee analog meter is a visual. Uh, that's the advantage of this wee analog meter. Uh, you can still do it with digital meter uh, if you're looking at your pluses and your minuses and things. But uh, this gives you an, an actual visual. So if it, if it points that way there, the current is flowing towards the negative conventional current flow. And if you're on down the loom, it'll not show anything. If you're on the wrong branch of the loom, it'll not show anything. Uh, well, for maybe a wee tiny wee bit of fluctuation, uh, but it gives you it gives you the direction. So when you're in a car and the loom's going all over the place, all around the engine, it, it tells you what direction to move the gauge. You go that way there or that way there because the the wee needle swing in both ways. So as I said, you can still buy these. I uh, have this kicking about. Um, you can buy them. How do we look on the our favourite marketplace there? You can buy that. That's twenty quid. That and there's a wee clip on it uh, to to hold it for you. So dead simple wee device, old school, and yeah, if you get a lot of wiring faults and stuff like that, maybe worthwhile having. So there you go. Uh, current flow defined a fault, a hard down. Well, it's a hard down fault uh, in this one. Uh, that's that I've put into the limb, but uh, okay. Uh, maybe that helps you out, gives you a wee bit of inspiration, a wee bit of, a wee bit of thought, a wee bit of food for thought. And uh, many thanks for watching, as ever, and all the best. And bye bye, till the next one. If you like this sort of stuff, hit the subscribe button, the wee notification, put videos up all the time, and all the best, and bye bye.